this is Sapporo Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this expanding shapes animation in Adobe After Effects. Uh, we're going to be using a series of shape layers with uh, just a few keyframes to make this cool tunnel-like expanding effect. So this is what it looks like when uh, we're going to be done with the project. Um, you can see the effect right there. And um, this is a great uh, transition effect. It's uh, very good for introducing like other elements into your piece. You know, like objects and uh, shape layers and, you know, like, um, you know, going from, like, frame to frame, scene to scene. Um, in this case, we're going to be using text, but honestly, anything goes with this. Um, it's also, like, super, like, quick to make and it's, like, really easily reusable. So it's uh, very, um, like, useful for uh, transition effects. We're uh, really just going to be using uh, shape layers available within the program. And at the end, we're going to be switching on, like, the visibility... Um, a couple of, uh, couple of these uh, pre-made layers, so but we're not going to be using anything external. So, uh, and you can find this product file in like the video description below. Um, Alright, so let's get started. So, uh, with this playhead at the beginning, just make sure that like no other layer is uh, selected. If that's the case, just click anywhere in the interface. Now we're going to head up to the pen tool up here. Um, and we're going to be drawing out a triangle shape. So, just a point up at the top, lower right, well, lower left, I'm sorry, and lower right, and then up to the middle just to get that nice triangle effect. Um, and now we're just going to be changing um, a couple of settings on this triangle to get a particular look. So the first thing we're going to be doing is head over to like this box next to the stroke. Um, this refers to the outline, essentially, and we're going to get this thing to be white. And then we're going to get like we're, we want the first triangle we have to like be empty. Sorry about that. So we're gonna click on uh, the word fill and then click like this little strike through box and that's just, that's gonna get rid of the fill. So we have like this, this triangle outline. Um, and then the first one, we're gonna want like a thickness of eight. So you see that I like clicked the number next to stroke over here. I'm gonna put an eight and get that in there. All right, so that's my first triangle. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm using um, like the selection tool over here instead of the pen tool. But So I just don't end up uh, drawing anything else by accident. And also, uh, with this new shape layer selected, I'm going to hit, uh, if you're using a Mac, it's return, um, enter on a PC to rename it. And I'm just going to name it triangle 1, just so I keep track of all my layers. Um, and... Again, my play is at the beginning, because uh, we're going to start keyframing this thing. We're going to start uh, putting in some animation. And then let's hit S on the keyboard to open up scale. You know how big this thing is going to be. Um, and then we're going to hit this like little stopwatch to, to start inputting our frames. And at the beginning, we want the setting to be just zero. So put that in. Ooh, there we go. And then like we're going to drag it in about... I'm going to put it in about 20 frames in-ish. And then I want this um, to like I want the scale to be like real big. I'm gonna put in six five five for mine. And the reason being, like if you look at the the playback as I scrub through the timeline, I don't want it to just like go back to its original size. I want this thing to like whoosh, you know, like get bigger than the frame, to get bigger than the composition uh, window it's in, so it looks like it's coming towards us and we're like passing into into the triangle. So that's the reason why I have made it so big. Um, and now I'm gonna like drag this marquee box over you could uh, over like the keyframes you can like you know shift select both of them but basically like select both of these keyframes you're gonna right click on either keyframe head to keyframe assistant easy ease and what this does basically it adds like a smoothness to the animation that wasn't there before it's a little bit more of an organic feel all right so I've put my playhead like just a couple of frames in so I could get a visual on the triangle that I'm working with um, and depending on your machine, you're going to hit either Command-D or Control-D to duplicate the layer. And it's all, it like, it all, all that, sorry, it automatically renames uh, the layer to Triangle 2, so we don't have to rename it. And let's do that again, because we're going to get three triangles, so here we go. And let's hit all, let's get all our triangle layers selected. We're going to hit U on the keyboard to display all the animated keyframes. And obviously being duplicates, they all look the same. So now I've got my playhead at the origin for a reason, because uh, we're, we're going to want to overlay 
and like overlap each of these uh, expanding animations with, with each other. So I want them to be about three frames uh, difference from each other. Um, you'll see what I mean as we start animating these. Um, and let's see, so now that I've got like a visual on which keyframes are visible because I hit U, I can now shift each one over a little bit. So I'm going to select triangle two. I've just deselected my previous selection by clicking anywhere in the interface. So then we've got triangle two. And I'm going to move the playhead in about three frames on my machine. I've hit page down three, you know, three times. You could slide your playhead over three or just even type it in over here. And I am going to hit the uh, left bracket on my uh, keyboard to get that animation starting three frames later than the first one, right? So now they overlap. You see that? Very cool. And then the last one, also um, three frames later, I'm going to put mine in at about uh, six frames in, and I'm going to select triangle three, left bracket, awesome. So now they are all overlapping with each other. All right, now the last thing that we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be changing the fill of the last two triangles. So there's like some contrast uh, within the animation. So I've got my triangle two uh, layer selected. I'm going to head up to fill. Um, I am going to want this one to be uh, fully white for this particular effect. You can see that. And then triangle three, I'm going to get that one, same thing, up to fill, make it black. So that way, within the playback, check this out. You see that? There's like a bit more contrast within that animation. For like a slower uh, playback, you'll see I'm going through this frame by frame. But yeah, you could see there's like a little bit more uh, contrast within that animation. So the last thing I'm going to be doing is selecting all three triangles, right click on any one, head over to pre-compose, name this triangles, oh, triangles, thank you. And this is to uh, neaten up the layer stack. And uh, if you want, you can actually like duplicate this layer and, you know, shift them around the, the, the timeline to get more of an overlapping effect. But um, this is for our, my purposes, just to neaten up layer stack. I'm going to drag this down under the open up um, layer, gonna turn on the visibility for those two. All right, there we go. This technique is uh, great for like quickly putting together a fun transition effect for like slideshows, presentations, video essays, title sequences. Um, and like, you don't have to stick to triangles, you know, like try different shapes. You can do like a comic book uh, speech balloon shape, you know, like one of those like pow shapes. Um, even an illustration could uh, fit into this technique. And like knowing how to like repeat and shift over on the timeline, like repeating layers, is also like super useful for like speeding up animation processes. So um, yeah, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make this expanding shapes effect in Adobe After Effects. And this has been Super Designs for Noble Desktop.